Now see, as we have discussed how to reverse a singly linked list, right? What reverse means? Suppose I have four node in the list, right? And in circular linked list, the last node will contain address of the first node and we are maintaining only the tail pointer. Tail pointer is containing address of the last node, right? So now what reversing means? We are not going to swap these nodes, right? What we actually do, we are going to reverse these links. See, here each node is containing address of the next node, right? But after reversing, what it should look like, this node would contain address of the previous node. We are going to reverse this link, right? Means, now, see this node is containing address of the next, next node that is 150. But after reversing, this node would contain address, this should contain address of the previous node. That is here we will store 500, right? This node also contain address of the previous node. That is, we are going to reverse this link. We are going to reverse this link. So see, it is almost same as reversing a singly linked list that we have already discussed. Only difference is what? Now in this case, last node is containing address of the first node. But after reversing, obviously we are going to reverse this link also. So now this node is containing address of the this node. Now we are going to reverse this. Now this node should contain address of this node. That is, this node now should contain 600. So now we are going to reverse this link. Because, because after reversing, this should be the last node. And one more thing, now after reversing, tail would point here. Right? So when you will display the linked list after reversing, then, then it should print minus 3, 6, 1 and 7. Now for this, how you will do this reverse operation? See, suppose at some point of time, I have a pointer to this node. Right? Obviously, we are going to take some pointers, extra pointers because we, we cannot move this tail, right? So, for reversing, we are going to traverse the link, uh, this list and with the traversing only, we are going to reverse these links, right? So, now suppose I have a pointer temp pointing to this node. Now, in this node, I should store what value of address of this node for reversing this link, right? So, Suppose I have stored temp of next equal to from where I can get this address in tail I have this address. So temp of next equal to tail. It means here I have stored what rather than this I have 600 now. So now you can say this link is no more. Now this node is pointing to this node. Okay fine. But now this link is no more Then how you will reach till this node because obviously we are going to reverse this link also this link also. Right. We need to reverse all the links. So now, suppose uh, by applying some logic, I'll tell you that logic, we, we have reached till here. We have moved our temp here, right? We will discuss that logic also when we will write that code. Now, in temp of next, I will store what? This node, address of this node, address of previous node. So we have to maintain address of this node also. Because if you move temp here, then how you will, from where you can get this address, 500 because we have only one pointer left or tail pointer is pointing to the last node, right? So now you have to maintain one another pointer. Suppose I'm taking previous pointer. So before moving temp forward, we are going to set this previous also. Now in previous we have 500. So we can write temp of next is equal to previous. That is also fine. Now you have broken this link and now here I have 500. So this is now pointing to this node, right? Now how you, you will move here? So you need some extra pointer, one more pointer. So, so basically three pointers we need here. Fine. What you can do before setting this, before breaking this link, before setting here 500, what you can do, we can set, suppose a pointer next node, third pointer to this node. And how you can do? In next node, ne we can write next node is equal to temp of next. That is 150. So here I have in next node, we will have 150. So this would point to here. So now you can break this link. You can set temp of next is equal to previous. And we have a pointer to next node also. So we can reach till this node, right? After that, we can move this temp. Then we will move this previous also. And the next node become this one. And now we are going to move till this node, right? Till we reach here, till the last node. It means we are going to take basically three pointers here. Rather than temp, I am taking what current. You can take any name, current, previous and next node, right? So see how you will write down the code for this thing. So as you can see, we have declared three pointers, pre pointer, current and next node. And 
these pointers are pointer to node because these are containing address of the node. So, here I am taking struct node, right. This thing I guess you already know that user defined data type, the two parts are there of this node data part and one is next pointer. This will contain address of the next node. We have maintained only the tail pointer, right. So, this thing we, this is what the global part, this we are going to use in all the functions. If, if you call that create uh, CLL function, display function or this function. So, this uh, thing I am going to write globally out of all these function and out of main function you can say after header files directly right. After that you can define this reverse function. Now see we have taken three pointers now for reverse obviously we are going to traverse the link. So, for tra traversing we need one pointer. So, I am taking that current pointer that is main pointer. These previous and uh, next node you can say these are supportive pointers of this current. One is containing one is storing address of previous node and this will contain address of the next node right. So, first of all what you will do now we are going to start from head node now from the first node we are going to start the traversing. So, we are we are not having any head pointer. So, how you can come to know that the which node is the first node. So, tail of next this will always contain address of the first node. So, how we can do current is equal to tail of next. It means now current is pointing to this node. In tail next we have 500 in current now we will store 500. So, now as you can see this current is pointing to this node that is to the first node right. Now, you can check if tail is equal to 0 it means list is empty you cannot reverse the list right. So, you can uh, after this you can uh, write down this condition also if tail equal to equal to 0 it means list is empty you can print this thing or if you want to print that thing also that if suppose in list we have only one node how you can check that thing we have discussed when we were discussing how to delete node from the circular link list right if suppose only one node is there then tail would point here and current would point here right and this node would contain address of itself that is here also 500 here also 500. So, you can check else if that tail of next is equal to is equal to tail or you can say current of next is equal to is equal to current right. In that case you can directly call that display function or you can say that there is only one node in the list and only this if 7 is the node then 7 would be printing after display after reversing the list else we are having 4 nodes now. Now see what is the situation now how you will write this thing here I will write a while loop while this current because for traversing we are using this current node when you will stop here right when this current becomes when current will point here it means current is pointing to the tail node it means current becomes equal to tail. So, we are going to move till current becomes until current becomes tail. So, current not equal to tail till then we are going to move this current right. So, before moving this current obviously first of all we are going to set our previous pointer right. So, here you will write this prev is equal to current. Now, this prev is containing 500. So, now this is pointing to this node right. Now, only difference in this case is now it should have address of the this node right because we are going to reverse this link also right. But at starting we will not reverse this link we, we are going to reverse this link at last fine because if in while loop only you will write this statement. Now, I can write previous of next here I want to store address of this thing that is 600. So, here I can write previous of next is equal to tail right. So, if you write that statement in while loop then so when after some iteration current would point to this node in that case previous would point to this node right because this is the previous node. Now, again that condition would be executed means previous of next is equal to tail. So, previous of next is this this pointer now. So, here you will store address of 600. So, now this node would point to this node, but that we do not want and after that previous would be this one current would be this one in that case also previous next is equal to tail. So, again and again that line would be executed. So, we do not want that thing. So, first of all we are not going to reverse this link we are going to reverse what next links it means we are not going to change this value it means we are not going to break this link right. So, this link is still there we are going to break this link first of all we are going to uh, store here what address of the previous node that is 500 fine and this link would be there still this link, link would be there at last we will update this pointer. So, now here obviously we, we will move this current now. So, here you will write current is equal to 
so now in current what do we need to store the value of this 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 node because we are going to move this current now current is pointing to this after that current will point to this node that is 200 right so now here how we can store this 200 in current c now here you need to set this next node pointer also see at starting we have set current is equal to tail next so after this line after this line before this if statement what you will write what you will write you will set next node also next node equal to current of next it means we have set both current and next node pointer now what is current of next current of next that is 200 so here now i have 200 so now this is pointing to this node right so we have set both pointers at starting current and next node after that you will write this if condition if tail equal to equal to zero here you can print list as empty right and in else part you will write this while loop now see in current what you will store address of this node from where you can get address of this node that is the next node is containing this node address of this node so now current is having 200 right so now current is pointing to this node fine now we have previous we have set previous pointer also current also we have right so now we can update this part here you will store address of previous node for reversing that is 500 so here what i can write how you can access this part current is equal to sorry current of next equal to how you can access this part current of next equal to prev whatever the value in previous node right so now see prev have 500 so here we have 500 now this node is pointing to this node this link is no more now so now see the problem is next node is also pointing to this node now how you can reach till this node so this thing you need to take care you will you need to write which line first so first before updating this we will move this next node in next node we want to store 150 from where i can get 150 here before updating here i was 150 i was having 150 right so here you can write before this line next node equal to current of next current next means here before updating 150 was there so now current node is pointing to this node right and now you can update this now current of next is equal to previous that is 500 now you can break this link there is no problem because we have already set a pointer to next node right so now we will we are going to repeat these steps till here see again while loop current not equal to tail current is 200 tail is 600 so that is fine condition is true again we will enter into this loop now previous is equal to current that is in previous we will store 200 so now previous is pointing to this node right now we will move this current current is equal to next node in next node we have 150 so in current we have 150 now current is pointing to this node right again we will move now next node should point here next node is equal to current of next current of next current is pointing to this node so current next is 600 so in next node we have 600 so now next node is pointing to this node so now we have set three links now you can update this value so now here see how you will access this part link to this node is current of only current is pointing to this node so current of next equal to previous in previous we have 200 so here you will store 200 so see what address of previous node is 200 so now this is pointing to this node right again current is not null sorry tail current is 150 tail is 600 so the condition is true we are going to enter into this loop again see previous is equal to current so here we will store now whatever the value in current that is 150 right so now you can see previous is pointing to this node we will move this current current is equal to next node so here we will store 600 right so now current node is this one and now next node is next node equal to current next now in current of next we have 500 so in next node we will store 500 it means you can see next node is containing address 500 that is now this next node this next node would point to this node right to the first node fine current of next current is pointing to this node current of next is equal to previous in previous we have 150 so here i will store 150 so it means now 150 this is pointing to this node right so this link was no more now 150 so this link has been broken now 
right now we need to set this link see we have set all the links now you can see say current not equal to tail now current is 600 tail is also 600 so this condition is not true so we are not going to enter into while loop fine so now you need to update <coughs> two things now we will set this pointer see this node is the last node now so this node should contain address of this node now fine because this would be the first node that is 600 now how you can access this node pointer to this node is next node right so here what you can write in next node next you will store address of this node that is 600 and we can we we already know the last address the, sorry the address of last node is always in tail pointer so here i can write tail it means next node next here i am storing 600 so now as you can see this is pointing to this node remaining one thing is what you have to move this tail now in tail tail should point to this node right so in tail we want to store 500 so how you can get this 500 see pointed to this link is next node so next node is containing 500 so in tail i can store whatever the value in next node fine so now in tail we have 500 so tail is pointing to this node right as you can see we have reversed all the links as well as tail is pointing to this node and now when you will display when you will call that a display function then what are the value should be printed minus 3 6 1 and 7 so this is how you can reverse a circular linked list see after reversing and this link is also there no not there now fine so this is i guess same as reversing of a single linked list only the simple uh, the difference is what here the last node will contain address of the next sorry the first node right so you have to take care of that link also and that link we will update in the last so after this you can write void main function in that main function you can first of all create this link list you can call that create CLL function then display function right then output would be before reversing 7 1 6 and 3 then you can call reverse function and after that again you can call display function so after that output would be minus 3 6 1 and 7 right so in next video we will see the implementation of a doubly circular linked list see it was what a singly circular linked list fine so i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care